Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at the cocktail drum for our Galaxy J7 and it has really awesome advanced modifications and add-ons which we uh, could not get without a ROM control and this is a stock ROM with some additions and modifications which is a removal of some apps which means a deload of the apps and many more things which I am going to explain in the video so let's start without wasting more time. So guys the first thing the addition is the edge screen and not everything you can get over the stock ROM is here so the edge screen is here. Now second most add on in this uh, ROM is the native blur you can see the launcher turns blur also the edge screen turns blur the power menu and the quick menu of the launcher and settings now going to the home screen settings we get the background blur option you can disable it and power off or just grant the request and if it does like that's great you can uh, get no like you can get that transparent thing and then open quick notification panel so this means it's the note 8 launcher now this rom also consists of the multi-user mode so you can easily switch here just open the quick settings panel just tap here switch to the guest mode or add a user and it will switch to guest it will give you a different home screen and the person will not be able to spy on your data now you also do get two extra options in the advanced features this is the volume music control so you can just switch it uh, to switch audio tracks when the device screen is off hold down the volume down or increase buttons so you can do this if it's really handy when your screen is off and now the flashlight one turn on the flashlight and lock device press and hold the volume up button so just lock it and just hold the volume up button will turn on the flashlight but the power off thing is not working like press the power button when the flashlight still this stays on so you just need to do it manually turn off and it's done now we do get some more options like the two more options screen off and this something miscellaneous the display tab so the screen off is to turn off the screen touch the clock in the state okay just need to touch the clock and it goes off so that's a real handy another feature is just uh, oh sorry just tap this uh, hard bit and you get the power menu it's just acting like the or power button but not in a hard way and another thing is advanced options and some number even I don't know what's that so this is the live available memory usage uh, I'm using it for like two days uh, one and a half or two days and this is the memory usage I get 751 MB or 700 to 800 MB I get available space and in the lock screen security so we get to see some more additional stuff like the horizontal clock style items on lock screen so you can also configure what you need on the lock screen or not and wallpaper your selected images will be shown on the lock screen okay so this is like you can set multiple wallpapers on the lock screen that's awesome so you can try it on your own uh, if i keep showing on this all stuff it will be really a bad and long video one more stuff is here bluetooth scan dialog show the scan dialog window when you turn on bluetooth so this is just a small thing uh, the bluetooth scan dialog you see every time you turn on the bluetooth and it's scanning so it's just a like a remember like alert it will give now let's move to the installation directly so i will need to reboot into recovery Windows the dwrp recovery just go to wipe okay before wipe if you want to back up your old rom just swipe it and you can select the storage st or internal just go to wipe advanced wipe the dialog system data and cache just wipe to wipe let it wipe let's go back then go to install and now the main thing the installation is now to install it perfectly you just need to flash the cocktail rom with the magisk so that your internal storage will not get uh, like the encryption thing or else you will need to format the data so yeah it happened with me earlier so i'm li like showing you the correct installation like this and see i have flashed the magisk uh, for 15.3 the latest one too so i will leave the link for both the rom and the magisk in the description below and guys that's it for the video and wait just reboot system and wait it for uh, wait for the rom to boot up and that's it guys for the video if you really like this video press the like button if not the subscribe but uh, subscribe dislike button and also subscribe for more videos and you may be thinking like the Xenos boot logo so the boot logo from the Xenos has not changed uh, otherwise it's cocktail rum only so uh, let's get the differences out bye bye